Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. The Kiwi dollar has been very active over the last 24 hours with plenty of news out. The stronger than expected Chinese PMI provided support for the Kiwi as it lifted from 49.7 to 50.1. This morning saw plenty of action as well as the New Zealand trade balance figures were released. Trade balance lifted from negative 159 million to positive 56 million. Exports dropped slightly, but a bigger than expected fall in imports offset this to provide the positive trade balance. The Kiwis rallied up to the 75.6 cents US mark, which is a level we feel is a little high, so we could see the market react and begin to sell it off. And looking now at the US dollar, and it pulled back thanks to comments from Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen. She faced a barrage of questions from Republican lawmakers who see the Fed as having a political agenda that leans towards the Democrats. They are keen to, they're keen to rein in the Fed and have proposed several bills to Congress to do so. And Yellen also said she expects inflation to, to continue to fall before it begins to rise. Lower inflation would no doubt make the market question the expected timing of interest rate rises. And the dollar was unmoved by better than expected existing home sales figures. They remain unchanged at 481k from a month ago, while the market had expected a drop to 473k. And finally, gold has managed to find a bit of support to halt its recent downward slide. Gold traders would no doubt have been watching Yellen's comments closely and would have taken her comments on inflation as bullish for gold. Gold has fallen over $100 an ounce in the last month, and we believe this trend is likely to continue. Fed is likely to stick to its target of a rate rise by mid-year and we could see gold retest the recent lows at $1130 an ounce. That's all we have time for today for Blackhawk Global. I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.